This short tutorial explains how to watch your DVDs on your iPad. Before you do anything you need to install iTunes on your PC and obviously sync that up with your iPad. The next thing to do is to install the Jobo software and you will see a link for the purchase of this below this video. The next thing is to place the DVD in the drive and select this open DVD option to scan the DVD. I've actually got the constant gardener in here and I'm going to scan that DVD. You will see that the program checks all the chapters. Now we don't need to record all these short chapters because they're usually adverts or some promotional video or something. So tick this one and select none of them and then select the long one which is the one you want to record. For the purpose of this demo I'm going to select one of the short ones because obviously it can take a long time to copy this. To copy this constant garden it took four hours but once it's done it's nice and easy. So having selected one of the videos you go down and you select the iPad um, setup. Now there's obviously lots of different iPad setups. I'm going to select the um, highest resolution. You can obviously change that depending on what you want to fit onto your iPad, how much space you've got, etc. etc. I also select the full aspect ratio, which makes sure you get the widescreen effect. And I'm going to select the folder that I want to put the file in. For the moment, I'm going to put it into the Arcos folder. Having done that, you simply select the Start Ripping button, and the program will go off and get the information from the DVD. Now, as I explained, if you're getting a long DVD like the Constant Garden, it can take up to four hours. But here we're just ripping uh, a small section of that and you can see it's just going to go down. Now you will see these files are appearing on my PC in the folder. For example, here is the Constant Gardener. All you simply need to do is to simply drag and drop these files into the video library folder of iTunes and then sync that up with your iPad or iPhone and the file will appear on your iPad. If you have any questions please don't hesitate to make any comments below. Thank you for watching this video.